He's the man behind several of your favorite movies, including Chicken Run and Wallace and Gromit. And his latest movie, The Pirates Band of Misfits, is getting a lot of buzz. So we are honored to have Peter Lord, the co-founder of Ardman Animation Studio, with us today. You are also the director and the producer of this Pirates yep. movie. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Great to be here. A lot of topics out there to create films about pirates yeah. was something that you felt like really needed to be explored a little bit more, apparently. Yeah, I did, yes. <laughs> well, I thought we hadn't had enough like, really funny, accessible pirates, you know, for a, for a younger audience, you know. Um, there's a, I thought there was a lot more fun in pirates that hadn't been touched yet. Okay, so the premise of the movie is what? Well, we've got, um, this guy's the pirate captain, and he has a, a, a band of misfits, a very incompetent band of pirates, and he wants something badly which is the Pirate of the Year Awards, which is like the Oscars for pirates. He really wants to win it, which is actually a bad mistake. And in trying to win it, he, he kind of nearly, nearly loses the love of his, uh, his, his crew, which is the important thing. Um, but but um, you'll have to know it works out well in the end. How does one win a Pirate of the Year award? I think it's mainly by getting an awful lot of booty. I think that's basically <laughs> how it works. Uh, you, I you, almost you, knew the answer to that, <laughs> but I had to hear you say it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's important to have a shiny beard. That's important, you know, uh -huh. and to shout a lot, roar a lot, sing, sing sea shanties. There once, it, one stage, there was going to be a, a beachwear round, but we abandoned that. It was too bizarre. So as we're looking at a clip of this, um, tell me a little bit about the behind the scenes and what it takes to make something like this. Well, they're all puppets, as you can see, they're models, like the guy I, ha I have here, um, which are moved a fraction of every frame of film. It's a very traditional technique. It's like, it's the way they did um, King Kong back in the 30s. Um, wow. But, you know, but we've completely updated it. We've got lots of uh, CG effects, you know, the ocean and um, fire and stuff like that. So it's, it's, um, it's, it looks perfectly modern, I think, but it's done by hand. So literally, you would take this and move this just a milli, yeah. just a fraction right like there. That. Yeah, see, and that would be the next could do that. Yeah, like that. How yes. many people does it take to do something like this? There's a big old crew. We had about 350 people working on it. So a big team. Um, amazing model makers, as you can imagine, amazing animators. We treat it like filmmaking, except it's kind of tiny. And the other thing which is a bit weird is that he's voiced by Hugh Grant, but we can have 20 different animators performing him on the same day. So it's like we've got 20 Hugh Grants in the studio. Wow. Now tell me about the expressions, because I understand how you can make movement just by, you know, simply moving hands, yeah, and, but, yeah. but, but the expressions, how do you do yeah. that? Yeah, well, his, his eyebrows and his brows are modeling clay, they're plasticine, although they're quite tiny, so the animators move those with, by hand very perfectly, and then the mouth, I'll just demonstrate, the mouth, it comes open like this, Oh. and uh, I can put a new one in. Okay. And each each mouth shape has a different expression. So you know, smiling, shouting, talking, saying. Ooh, it all it's all done fraction. Well, he, fraction. Has, he has 250 different possible mouth shapes in a great big library, and we, we just take one out and put a new one in. It's, oh um, my gosh! Talk about patience. Tell me about <laughs> like the key component to a pirate. Of course, his ship. Yeah. Yes. Oh, the ship is a fantastic thing. We made this enormous ship. Well, well. You couldn't say this, but big for us, like um, 16 feet long, 20 feet high, beautiful model wooden ship, which was in the studio, uh -huh. um, and which we all loved. It was like a totem for the studio. It was such a beautiful object. And then we made it rock and roll, but of course it wasn't in the sea, it was just on a, on a rig. Uh -huh. And then with computers, they put the sea around it afterwards. Kind of technical, and it doesn't matter, because the fact is it just looks it looks, it looks really cool in the clip. Yeah. Uh, we saw a preview when my, my, I took my boys to see the Lorax. Yeah. And I, I, there was, I said, focus, son, we're watching the Lorax. No, yeah. no, I want to see the pirates. Yeah. So, and I think a lot of kids are going to want to. I hope so. It's boys really and girls fun. alike. Yeah. yeah. Kids and big kids alike yes. as well. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with us. My pleasure. My pleasure. Nice so time. interesting. I'm going to have to go and show this story over and over and over. The, the Pirates Band of Misfits hits theaters Friday, April 27th. And here's the fun thing. We're actually going to give you and your family a chance to see the movie before it even hits theaters. Just be caller number five right now to our contest line. That's 877-ABC-1515. And you will be going home with a family four-pack of tickets to see the movie on April 21st. 
And in addition to that, you're also going to get a prize pack. Now, you must be 18 to win. Contest rules are available at sonoranliving.com, and promotional consideration is provided by Allied Integrated Marketing.